What's up, Moors? What's up? I'm going to say something real quick about voting, right? Not going to take up too much of your time. Okay, so we'll, um, we'll just talk on this real quick and uh, keep it moving. So basically, right, let me just say this first off, just to get this out the way. Nobody has to vote, right? doesn't matter what you are, what nationality you claim to be Moorish American or whatever, you don't have to vote. It doesn't say that anywhere um, that you are required that you have to vote. I'm saying that like, you know, and with the, with the, um, with the um, asterisk, right? Okay, so, so you don't have to vote. Nobody has to vote. You know, that, that may be your personal uh, protest. You may not believe in the system or whatever. You feel like you, you should, you shouldn't even participate, whatever. I feel you. Okay, so nobody has to vote. All right, and with that said, okay, I wanted to bring up something. There's um somebody online had um, said something that made me um, think about it. Like just talking about how you don't see um, Asian or Indian people. These are all Asiatics. You don't see them out lined up. You know, in the the voting um, at the voting stations. You know where everybody goes to vote. And it's like, I mean, you know, I don't really know if that's true. You're in somewhere where like California or something where there's a lot of people from China and Japan and all Vietnam and all these different places. You may see, you know, people like that out there voting. But I'm I'm going to say um, what, what I had answered to that person because it's real. Like um, one reason I would say <laughs> you may not actually see a whole bunch of um, people out here doing that okay uh from different ethnic groups would be because a lot of people not all but a lot of people um vote in unison via voting blocks right and they um they're all voting for the same candidates for a reason for a purpose right they're not just voting you know like african americans do people misnumbered as african american and black just vote for whoever's democratic um, you know, anyone who even entertains someone like Trump or another candidate who's Republican, who's not Democrat, gets shamed, publicly shamed, you know? They they were getting on Steve Harvey, they're getting on Kanye West, they're getting on everyone, right? Just for trying to go and sit at the table, you know, with these guys. So, um, or negotiate with these types of people. So, um... That's the African Americans completely out of the picture. I mean, they you don't even get anything. Like, think about it like this: you have a party loyalty, and they don't even have to do perform or do anything for you to receive your vote. It's just known that you vote this way, so you receive nothing for it. So there's not even any point in African Americans having a voting block. Well, you have voting blocks, right? B L O C. Okay, a lot of people don't know about this. And so, um, like I said, everybody doesn't participate in it, but you have ones that are sometimes based off of ethnic groups, okay? Com with the common ethnicity, common um, cultural beliefs and um, background, you know, and they um, vote a certain way and um, whoever they put their support behind, of course, there's going to be some type of exchange, you know, but well, we want this. Well, this is what we need and we deliver this many votes, thousands of votes. And that matters, you know, that matters, especially on a state level, which is where it really matters. And so, um, you know, they get different um, legislators, different parties approach them to try to woo them, to try to get their support. And then they negotiate, right, in return for their votes. And so, um, you know, as a whole, like, we don't do this. And I'm not saying there's no people out there doing it, no Moors out here doing this, Moorish Americans, but as a whole, we don't do this, you know? Uh, we can't even all agree about the power of having our own voting block for Moorish Americans. I mean, literally, like, even in your own city, there's going to be other Moors, Moorish Americans, who don't even agree with that, who's just like, oh, the whole process is flawed, you know, this whole system. It's just like, I, I know all of that stuff, and I'm not going to go into it because it's pointless. But there's just even just in your community, there's Moors just like you 
who may feel differently than you about uh, feel about voting, you may be against it. They may be like, hey, we need to exercise our power. This is our uh, national ballot. We need to do it. Or, you know, vice versa, right? And so we can't even agree on a local level on what to do. And you, then you got the people who like know it all, who just have all the answers, who's out here telling other Moors don't vote, clowning everybody that does. That was one thing that you get a lot. You know, the, all the know-it-alls, they're going online, clowning all the people who's going out and voting. Once again, they have all the answers. They clowning people. They got all the answers, even though they're not doing any better than anyone else. And so um, you got all these different philosophies and people that don't even agree just within our own community. And um, even just within the Moorish American community, you have all these people who don't agree. Like, yeah, we should do it. Let's... Um, organized let's get some from it and then you got the people who just aren't going to participate anyway right won't even just work together try it out just for a few years just to see what happens voting in unison you know see what we can get done for that and um you know i mean that's that's basically you know what why i wanted to make this video because it's like like I was saying, I'm not saying there's no more Americans doing this. There may be some communities that are actually doing this and all of their members voting block, maybe even getting other Moors to participate in it with them so that you can have more support and so that you can actually influence elections and begin to play at the table with grown folks like with all the other nations. But I'm gonna read an article for you that was posted just a few weeks ago on Michigan Live, michiganlive.com. And they're saying Asian Americans, Michigan's fastest growing voting block, that's BLOC, are ready to be heard, right? And it's saying um, Asian American voters comprise one of Michigan's fastest growing voting blocks. And I'm assuming it's all different type of Asiatics. You know, they could be, you know, Indian, could be, you know, all different types of Asiatics. And so um, it's saying just South Asians getting together, forming a voting block. And um, in here, it's saying one of these particular groups, right? I'm telling you this for a reason. It's a progressive group called South Asians of MI Organizing for Serious Action or Samosa, right? Samosa, that's the Indian snack. Y'all never had samosas. You don't know what you're missing. So, um... So they got, you know, they got it. South Asians of Michigan organizing for serious action. And then the acronym is Samosa. And so like, basically they get out, they let other people of their ethnic background know about it. Do you want to participate in this, right? And so their goal is to get out to the community and get them all to vote in the same direction, okay? And what happens is Republicans, Democrats, whatever party they are, they don't just go to this one person here and there. They go to that organization, say, hey, we'd like to get your support. And then a negotiation process is started. Well, we're not just gonna vote for you just because of what you're saying. Like, what are you actually gonna do for us? Okay. And this was just an example. Like, I'm not gonna read this whole article, but that was just an example because um, this is how you get things done on a local level. And if you could do it on a local level, you could do it on a state level, okay? If you could do it on a state level, then you could, you know, do it all over the country. And that's one of the things, like just real simple, you know, voting block. I know a lot of people don't even know this stuff. Even some of the know-it-alls, okay? Voting block on Wikipedia says, voting block is a group of voters that are strongly motivated by a specific common concern or group of concerns to the point that such specific concerns tend to dominate their voting patterns, causing them to vote together in elections. And then it gives an example. BeliefNet identifies 12 main religious blocks in American politics, the religious right, white bread Protestants. Okay. So that's just an example. <laughs> and they call that the 12 tribes of American politics. But um, just coming to you like, oh, a voting block. You know, one thing um, 
the NRA, right? They may not vote together on everything, but there may be certain candidates that they'll support. And if you're a member of the NRA, like you're supposed to vote for this person, right? And so the NRA has some power, all right? Um, let me check this out. This is also an article from this website. It's not up anymore. It was called Operation Proclamation. It's on the web archive. And I'm just going to read from it. it. said, consider the retelling, this retelling of history. Noble Drew Ali organized 100,000 people in 15 states and had 10,000 in the city of Chicago alone. A concentrated vote is ultimate power politically and Operation Proclamation is the movement to duplicate Noble Drew Ali's civic agenda for the first time. So, it you know, it's just saying like the power that was being put to um, put to use, put into action back then. And it still hasn't really been actualized now. And like, I mean, I, I know just from joining the temple, like that's one of the things you do. You sign up for the voting block and we have to do it and we have to utilize it. Now, um, I'm not telling anybody they have to vote or you're going to get out and change the world by voting. I'm just being real. If you're not even participating, no different than where things are at right now. Okay. Because even though there are some, most, most uh, African Americans don't vote still enough to get out and vote right and they get nothing for it they don't participate <laughs> in that negotiation process right they don't you know they're just there and so like they might as well not be participating what they do do like i was saying earlier somebody who goes against the grain and is like supporting a different party like a republican party or whatever they get publicly clowned by the um the mass the masses of of black folks the black media you know they clown it right but they throw their support blindly behind democrats for nothing nothing in return and that's like that's real weak that's just weak as hell and uh, excuse me that's just extremely weak and they've been doing that forever and no you know nothing has come no benefits have come from it and they're still doing it right and so um you know for the people who just you know, like, I, you know, we can't get anything done by participating in that process. You know, that's cool. That's cool and all. But I, I'm just saying, like, just being honest, you know, you can do that. That's your right. But at some point in level, I mean, at some point in time, man, the people have to, uh, the, the community has to play the game, you know. You might not like it. You might think it's dirty, whatever, whatever. But they have to participate. We have to participate. We have to play the game. And hey, if you're not even sitting at the table with power, you know, you have no say in what happens to your community. If your community is impoverished, all right, if it's constantly being underfunded, but you know, people that work there pay taxes. When you buy things, you're paying taxes, you know, uh, sales tax and all types of stuff. So we're participating is monetarily right and what's happening to that those funds they're going to other neighborhoods they're going to other people's communities people who are not going to just sit back and let things happen because i'll tell you what like a lot of people will down at voting and all that stuff but like okay they send their children to school right they're not homeschooling their children so they're sending their children to school they're not going to parent teacher meetings you know, they're not on the, um, you know, the council. They're not going to their local town meetings, city um, um, council. They're not doing any of that stuff, right? They're not participating at all. So when things get done, they have no say in the matter. And there's a few people that do, but the people who that do don't need this message. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of people who aren't participating. And just be real. Like, if you're like that, you're not participating anyway. Okay, so you really can't say anything about anything that's going on your community, especially if you live in an impoverished community, because we don't all live, you know, in these communities where the majority of our people live. But if you do, okay, you know, it's underfunded. What are you doing about it? You just like, well, it's out of our hand. It won't matter what we do. That's a defeated, you know, <laughs> stick your hand in the head in the sand approach to things, you know, like, like they say, 
I don't know if this is true, but that's where that comes from. They say the ostrich, when he's confronted with fear, he sticks his head in the sand. That's not true. I don't think they really do that, but that's that's the main thing of it. Like, you just, uh, you're trying to hide it. You don't see the problem no more, so it's gone. And it's like, that's what it's like. When you, you don't participate, okay, you're not even doing anything, you know, on a civic level. You know, you have no say in what happens to you or your community. The officers who's in your community, they don't even live there. They don't care. They're not invested. And then some of them are, you know, closet white supremacists. Some of them are, you know, neo-Nazis on the lower end. Your community riding around with a license to kill. And every now and then they're going to use some excessive force and might even kill some people. Okay? And you can't do nothing about it. You're not even participating on that level. So if you live in a community where things like this are actually happening and no, you're not going to the, you know, the, uh, the school board meetings, you know, and participate, even though your children go to these schools, no, you're not going to town hall, city hall, any of these meetings, even though you live in this community. No, you don't care who's a councilman, who any of these people are. And you don't participate, don't put any pressure on them, don't have any organizations that do that, okay? That's a defeated mentality. That is a slave mentality. That is a Negro mentality. I don't care if you are super conscious online. I don't care if you're super more online and you know everything and you out here clowning and acting like you know everything, okay? Because I'm not just a more online. All right, but I don't care if that's what you are. If you're just online, you super conscious and all this stuff, but in real life, you ain't nothing. You're not participating, you're not actually physically doing anything to improve your life, your conditions of yourself, your family, and then the community around you, okay? You can't say nothing if you like that, really. It don't, it's not impressive that you can quote some stuff off the internet, you know, some books or something like that. It's not, it's not impressive. Because in real life, if you're not participating, you don't have a say in what happens. And that's just how it is. Like I said before, man, nobody has to vote. It's fine, but you see that, like, this this what grown folks do. You have to know. You have to organize and participate on some level. You know, even if it just means, hey, we're signing up with this voting block. Okay, there's some people who are actually concerned and, you know, negotiating with with different um different um lawmakers and this is who we're going to support so i'm gonna just participate hey that's cool and it, it needs to be done on a local level everywhere you know wherever we're at and i mean like literally you can change your city council you can change your your state legislation all this stuff like within just a few years you can dramatically change the landscape within a few years and that's real and you can do it and i mean like i should share this screen share this old picture i got from the library of congress where it was nothing but moorish um state representatives in louisiana right and this is like from the 1800s late 1800s okay and um the reason I was thinking of that is because it's like, like they, what they're doing is pointless. There's no point in being a, a, a senator and being a, a Moorish senator or having, your, you know, like this is the mentality that people have. It's like, like, you understand what I'm saying? Like that, that was powerful. That was a power move, you know, having your own lawmakers or having lawmakers who are doing, you know, you negotiated with that are going to do something in return for your support, right? That's how you play the game. And um, just knowing all this stuff online, knowing, you know, whatever, whatever um, stuff is really just when it comes down to it, it's just it's just um, something just intellectual masturbation. So knowing all this stuff online and not actually physically doing anything, you know, to really improve your life, that's whack. All right. And um, I mean, that's all I really wanted to say about it. I mean, uh, hey, do what you want to do. But I spoke on that just to get that out there. And um, if you disagree, that's cool with me too. That's fine. You know, but in real life, like there's really things you could do right now to um, flip the script 
And I'm not saying it's a quick fix or anything like that. Just being real, you know. So people who's active would notice. I know, like the majority of us don't participate in that stuff. And then that's how come you can't complain. Can't complain like when you live in the South, okay? Like where I um, grew up, and and um, when it gets hot, and the schools in all the urban areas don't have air conditioning, you know. And it gets so bad sometimes they gotta let them out early. But none of the other schools where the majority of kids, children are like um, of European descent are like that. None of them. They all have everything they need, you know. And so, like, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, and if, then if your school has all of these problems where you are, where your children live at, you're not actively participating. There's things you can do to change that. All right. So I just wanted to say that. And, um, yeah, on that note, peace. All right. Yep. What's up, Morris? Was good so um it's long just wanted to get it everybody real quick um basically just talking about the group like and like like the impact that it's having like we appreciate everybody that's participating on the group in the group everybody subscribed to the youtube and all that right yes <clears throat> we see it working like for real for real in real time like helping to spread awareness and information in real life for real people, real mores. Beautiful thing. We see mores on there, you know, demonstrating, explaining how, you know, true facts about what happened to our people and how, you know, unity is the key, nationality. No draw Ali came brought to us is important and everybody should know about it. And we see that Moors in America is a teaching tool for all Moors all over the world to use to spread the word. Yeah, and I mean, we see like <clears throat> all the time, like you'll see some Asiatics, you know, tagging their family and friends and, um, you know, let them know about the post, sharing it. And that's what you need to do. You need to let everybody in on it. You just saw something the other day, right? Right. Just noticed some stuff. It was, it was cool, you know, because <coughs> it's like, you know, it's amazing because a lot of people, you know, feel like, They've been trying to tell their friends and family this information for a long time and nobody's been listening. But from, you know, the posts, the memes, you know, the articles, you know, videos, that's, the videos that's put up by us and by the you. The website, moresinamerica.com. Yes, they can use that to explain in a, you know, a different kind of way. Because the book that's coming visual. up too. Book yes. coming soon. Yes. So use all these tools to, you know, explain a little better and easier with, you know, um, pictures and images to help people to understand the message. Yeah, and like you even saw like somebody who's going back and forth with their friends and some of their friends were skeptical. Yes. But you could see like after like a week or so of looking at all the pictures and videos and reading stuff, you know, they're, they're starting to come along. They're starting to share it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's spreading. It's like it's like the opposite of a virus. You know what I'm right. saying? It's spreading for real. And um, you know, cure. the consciousness is rising and people need to know. Need it's to get the word out. Hey. It's let me let me share that in a group real quick. So like the word is getting out. Not popping up in the woods. You know? And um, I mean I'm just saying, like, if you in a group, you kinda have an obligation to share these posts. Even videos like this, subscribe to the YouTube if you're not subscribed. Join us on Patreon too, so that we can help spread and get the message out because there's even grander plans for this, you know, to take it to the next level. So for real, for real, just wanna let everybody know we appreciate you. And um, thanks for helping to get the word out, get the message out. Keep doing this what is you a do. part of the Morris Divine and National Movement. Just letting, getting the word out, letting people know, you know? And um, hopefully unifying everything so all these moors out here, you know, no matter what philosophy you're coming from, whether you're in a temple or not, to know we can all work together. We can all work within the temple. 
We are the temple, you know what I'm saying? Islam. And there's no reason why there needs to be any division or any of that, especially at this point in time. Matter of fact, anybody who at this point in time is still trying to push division, still trying to, you know, claim their sect, that's somebody to stay away from. Right. Okay, for that's real. That's somebody to report. <laughs> that's somebody to report. That's somebody, you know, to, you know, get away from because it's like that's that's not where we're at. That's somebody to take the court. <laughs> For real. So like, they just infidels. need to get that out there. Let people know. I mean, that's that's where we at, and that's what we're about. That's what Moors in America was about. It's for all Asiatics. Islam. Especially, you know, those born in America. You know. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. That's all we promote. And Asiatics is really all of us. Go look. Look at what Noble Drew Ali said about that. All original <laughs> people, all over. For real. World. Look up that definition. Find out what that means. All right? But it's for all of us, okay? And um, that's really just, just wanted to share that. Make sure you share this video, too, to let people know. And everybody that's new to the group and the Facebook page, YouTube, everybody needs to see this and know what's up. It's locked. So really just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. We out here in nature. and um, Doing about three miles today. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut this off before we lose the signal. So, um, y'all stay up. Make sure you keep sharing the posts. Keep inviting your friends and family. Tagging them. If you haven't subscribed on YouTube, you need to do that. You could just... If you have questions, just go ahead and submit those questions in the inbox. Message. We'll get to them as soon as we can. I mean, you know, you could imagine how, how many comments and questions and, you know, mail we get every day. But... We go through yeah, them, you man. can email us at bay at mooresinamerica.com. Of course, if you haven't already, you need to subscribe. I mean, uh, save that website, mooresinamerica.com. Um, on YouTube, it's YouTube forward slash mooresinamerica7. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do it. Make sure you do it. Like, I don't know why you haven't subscribed yet, for real. And make sure everybody you know who's looking for knowledge and seeking for the truth gets this information too yeah because it's not it's not really anybody else out there out here doing it like that you know you're bringing it all together making sense of it in a practical way you know what i'm saying and we're not about that division you know because it's a lot of people with that division you got to avoid that especially at this point in time everybody play your part we all here to contribute yeah so let's get this done for real let's do it and um, just do those things, subscribe on YouTube, save the website, share this video, share all the videos, <laughs> all the information, get your whole family in on it. You and know do your own all research your as well. You know, you have Don't to dig in. Don't just be a more on Facebook. Right. Don't just be a more on the internet. Don't be the internet do in more. Life. Don't be the internet you know? more. Live this life. Real, like, go ahead. Be go who ahead and you're get supposed up in the to temple be. Too. Don't be on the sidelines complaining right you know what i'm saying because whatever you on there's a good chance that i'm on that too and been on it for years because i'm not new to this so it's like if people like that could be in it you know what i'm saying you can too if you check out the youtube and you see things like the interviews with people like um the brother ties to bay a lot of people they let you know go ahead and get in the temple bring the knowledge and information you have in there don't Build. sit on the sideline complaining. Don't. People you think would be against it or not. Okay? So, there's a lot of misinformation out here, all right? I'm not making this up. <laughs> and you have to love yourself enough to take care of yourself. You know, keep your body and minds pure and clean with water, like the prophet said. You know, get out there, exercise, eat right. You know, all this stuff. People don't tell you, you know, you think you can you can just read and be on, you know, say one direction with it on law and civics, but it's like you gotta take care of your temple. Yeah. You gotta, you know, you have to eat right, you have to drink like at least a gallon of water a day. You know, yeah. that's part of being pure and clean. You gotta keep everything in balance, you know? Yes, take care of your family, take care of your home, keep your house in order. Yeah, so it's it's not about debating. <laughs> We're not on here to try to prove we know more than you or 
you know more than us. So we this out here learning best, together. So follow this leader, any of that stuff. You know, it's not about that, man. It's, yes. it's about uplifting. You know what I'm saying? Um, seeing that, okay, it's okay to have different philosophies. As long as we agree on the stuff that matters. Right. If we can do that, we need to link up and get it done. Definitely. So we're not pushing division, man. You know, anybody pushing that needs to go somewhere. You're not ne needed at this time if you're stuck on that. You know what I'm saying? So that's really, that's really it. I just wanted to get that out for y'all, okay? Make sure you share this, get the message out, and do those things if you didn't already. As long. Subscribe. Join us on Patreon. Bookmark the website, moresinamerica.com. <laughs> and read Just Circle 7 Qurans. Oh, no, yeah. you got to get, get the foundations. Fezcaps.com. Um, and uh, YouTube. YouTube. Moresinamerica7. <laughs> Peace. Blessings. Peace.